previous start against this team, you said you had to mix it up a little bit. Did you do that again today? Uh, not as much as uh, I, or, I mean, I showed some slower ones in the first, and you know, that, those last two innings, I was throwing a lot of heaters. I brought in a curveball, you know, that I hadn't thrown all spring. So um, I got a lot accomplished today. It was a good day for me. Got to handle the bat a little bit. Felt great. You know, I mean, one more, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be ready, ready to rock. You said you hadn't thrown the curveball all spring? Is no, it? today's first day. Is yeah, there something that's done? normal. Okay. Yeah, it's normal. End of spring, I, I throw it up there a little bit. And, um, but that's going to be a bigger pitch for me this year. That was a good one. Got a couple swings and misses on it. and um, Let them see that I had one in the arsenal, so that was good, too. So we got a lot accomplished today. Be ready in five days. One more. Is it uh, a big step once you get to that 90 pitch mark? And into that fifth inning, that kind of stuff. Just yeah, that's great, stuff. and that's what spring's for, especially for guys who are established. It's a it's a time to make sure that your body responds well to, um, you know, getting up and down and throwing ninety pitches and getting to run the bases, to getting to stay on the base path, getting to bunt, getting to hit, you know, and just that's what it's for for me and making sure that uh, mentally I can get up and, you know, five six times a game with no problem, and it was great today. Like, I felt fantastic all day. Yeah, Maddox used to always talk about that. It's not the pitch count. It's sometimes, you know, if you get to say you get a 10-pitch first, okay, yeah. and a 7-pitch second, he said, okay, I'm still done, even though it's 17 pitches, because I just want to mentally take that next step. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, it's all about the ups and downs, and it's it's spring is so much about trusting the process. It's all process over results. You know, it's all, you know, conditioning and getting your big muscles ready to go and making sure mentally you're okay with getting up and down and you know getting to throw every fifth day and getting to throw bullpens in between starts and making sure all those components are there and you just trust the process of it all and come you know April 3rd if you've done your work you'll be ready to rock you know and I feel good so that's all all good things. Overall what have you, you know, thought about the way this rotation has come together in a whole now that we've seen the way it's going to line up? Yeah, you know, um, I think it's going to be great. We we offer a ton of looks. We've got a lot of experience. You know, you've got – I think the, I think that what could be fun is, you know, the array of different styles um, really gives a uniqueness to this rotation. Um, but, you know, for us, as for any rotation, it's going to be about, you know, getting deep in games and staying healthy. That's what we're going to be centered on, you know, as a group. You know, we, we need to get deep into games, give our team a chance to win, quality starts, innings pitched, you know, things like that are very important to a staff over the course of a, a season. If we can do that, you know, and you're going to have your hiccups, you're going to have your clunkers, but, you know, it's how quickly you can turn the page from that and get and, and put a good outing on the board. I mean, that's part of growing up in the league, you know. It's, I remember Maddox said that one time. He said, you know, the, the difference between – great pitcher and a good pitcher is how quickly they can arrest, you know, a bad outing or a string of bad outings and start turning them into good outings, you know, mid mid adjustments, you know, in the middle of an outing, I mean, in the middle of an outing and in the middle of a stretch of outings. So all that's going to be imperative for us to be successful, but we got the right kind of personnel to do it. So far, you hadn't previously done it right before this year? No, it's the first time. It's going it pretty good. Kind of, uh, you know, it'll be a good days. Yeah. Be tough days, but uh, for the most part, I know the more I get back there, the more comfortable I'll be, and you know, kind of seeing where it goes and stuff. How many have you done so far? A couple. Yeah, this is my third one. We had a couple bullpens. This third game. Do you, do you think you'll end up being his guy? Or I'm, I'm just game for whatever. Yeah. You know, I mean, if he, I mean, it's good that I can catch him. You know, it's, yeah. if he asks me to catch him, I can catch him, and um, you know, it's gonna work out. You two seem to. I mean, have a pretty good chemistry, especially from really early on here. I mean, you guys enjoyed working with each other? Yeah, I enjoy it. You know, I think that um, sometimes it can play tricks on you. Yeah. Um, you know, you can kind of mentally psych yourself out. But, uh, you know, I think you just try to embrace it. You know, it's first time in, you know, my career I get to catch a knuckleball and, you know, just try to go with the flow and have fun with it. How about just generally you and Tyler with the split, whatever, however it ends up being, you know, whether it was straight platoon or what, how is that? How's it been? What's it been like so far working with? That's great. Yeah, I'm, you know I've known Flo for a long time. Just playing against each other and um, you know just 
being competitors. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we kind of had that relationship just because we're catchers and stuff, and yeah. we understand things that go on. And, you know, he's been doing it for a long time. I have, and I think we just shoot ideas at each other. And, you know, it's been great. You know, I got a lot of respect for him, what he's done and what he's doing and stuff. So I think the respect's mutual, and we just, we're just having fun. We're just trying to win ball games. So it'll, go, it'll be easy, however it works out. Yeah, you know, I'm just, you know, at this point in my career, you know, I, I want to win. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just trying to do whatever it takes to help the team win. And, you know, if Flo gives us the best chance that night, I mean, I'm all for it. And if I do, you know, I'm sure it would be the same thing. It's got to be nice to be swinging the bat the way you are here, especially down the stretch heading into the season. Too. Yeah, it feels good. You know, I'm just trying to, you know, you know, cease pitches and try to get. The main thing is keep the body feeling good, mm -hmm. you know. And, uh, you know, if the body feels good, I, and I believe, you know, what I can do and if I'm capable of doing. And, you know, if I feel good, that's kind of the, the biggest thing. But confidence is always nice heading out of camp.